News that's now coming in from Manipur, where the Chief Minister N. Biren Singh is going to be meeting with the Governor in just about 30 minutes from now. He will be briefing the Governor about the current situation in the state. On the other hand, Rahul Gandhi, who is also on a two-day visit to Manipur, he is scheduled to meet the Governor at 1.30, 30 minutes after the meeting with the Chief Minister and uh, the Governor. Remember, the Governor of Manipur was in the national capital a few days ago. She had called on uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah as well. Amid the violence that we have seen in the state of Manipur, which has gone on for close to two months now, sporadic instances coming to the fore even now. Kamalika, my colleague, uh, joining us, getting us more details. Kamalika, at 1 p.m. is when that meeting is going to take place between N. Biren Singh and uh, Anusia Uike. What is on agenda? Yeah, definitely the final law and order situation right now. What is the situation? Uh, he will be briefing her in the entire situation. That is definitely there. And also on the agenda, like, there are so many questions uh, that has to, by one section. We'll try and reconnect uh, with my colleague Kamalika, who's getting us details of uh, what's expected when the meeting between the Chief Minister and the Governor of Manipur takes place in just a short while from now. Remember, this also comes at a time when Rahul Gandhi is in the state. He was uh, in Imphal yesterday. He met with several uh, leaders. He met with several uh, community members as well. The, today is his second and last day of the visit, and he is expected to call on the governor as well. Kamalika, I believe, is now back with us on the phone line. Uh, Kamalika, the meeting between the chief minister and the governor also comes just two days after the governor met with Amit Shah. Yeah, definitely. And what we are getting it from... Uh, sources is that one section of the BJP workers and one section of people are saying that Biren Singh might uh, tell the governor that he does not want to continue. Now that is, this is one section of people are saying this uh, because there has been like two months and a lot of questions have been raised on, on, on Biren Singh. But there is also right now what we are getting it from the ground. A lot of people have gathered outside. Biren's residence, Biren Singh's residence, and they're trying to say that if there's a law and order briefing, then they're okay with that. But Biren Singh should not step down. Uh, you know, th these, these things are also going on now, as Biren Singh will be starting off from his residence. He will go to the governor. So whether uh, it is only a law and order briefing meeting or something more to that, that will only come to know after his meeting. But one section is definitely saying that he might he might uh, say that he does not want to continue because this violence is continuing for more than two months. On the other hand, there are people outside his residence who are saying, who are trying to say that if it is something more than law and order briefing, then Biren Singh should not go with that because people on ground, they, they say his supporters, does not want him to stay down. Right, speculations have been rife over uh, Biren Singh's uh, resignation. That's also something that the opposition has been demanding uh, ever since uh, violence first broke out in the month of May. For over two months now, we're seeing at least sporadic instances come to the fore uh, of violence, unfortunately. Even uh, in yeah, the last yeah. 48 hours or so, Kamalika, there have been uh, certain instances of firing that have been reported. Yeah, firing has been very common now in Manipur. Firing, blockade and all those things. So there has been an effort, all-round effort, by the central government, by the forces. But still, there's something missing there on the ground. And the unrest continues. There's one force which is trying to, uh, you know, create this atmosphere and continue this unrest atmosphere. Rahul Gandhi is on a two-day visit. He's also supposed to meet today. But there has been certain questions that has been raised against Biren Singh by the opposition. But uh, but uh, we have seen the Amit Shah, when Amit Shah came, that point of time, also this thing came up that Biren Singh is going to resign. Biren Singh also went and uh, met Amit Shah on last Sunday. That time also the same question, same thing, the race. But now we really have to see that whether it's a law and order briefing only or something more to it. Right, that we'll find out uh, if there's an official communique uh, that comes right after that meeting. But uh, Rahul Gandhi is also expected to be meeting uh, with the governor right after this meeting uh, with the chief minister. Uh, were both the meetings uh, scheduled meetings for the governor, uh, Kamalika, or is this meeting with the chief minister a last-minute inclusion? Uh, what we are coming to know that this, this chief minister meeting is a, is a last-minute intrusion. Rahul Gandhi wanted to meet, and that's for, like, for a long time. Like yesterday, only Rahul Gandhi had sent this 
uh, said that he wants to meet. But the chief minister meeting is a last minute inclusion. That's what we are getting from the source. Sure, do keep a track of what transpires uh, in that particular meeting, which begins in about 20 minutes from now. For the moment, though, Komalika, thank you so much.